So I walk out and somebody thinks that they're driving today. <laughs> Baby, he is so excited. He thought he was going for a ride. I know. Come on, Chibs. You can't go inside Home Depot, puppy. Oh. Poor baby, he thought he was going for a ride. Chibs, out. Come on, get out. Chibs, come on. Come on. Come. come. Chibs, come. He's so sad. Here we go. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna put the tarp on the top of the RV That way it stops raining inside and we can get a little bit more done and nothing gets ruined And then I guess we're just gonna try to see what we can do on the inside to get things to progress further Yeah So Brandon's just gonna get on the roof and put the tarp up because we feel like that's the easiest way to do it tarp on and it should not rain in here anymore until we get the roof on so we're gonna get the rest of that floor done i don't know what else we're gonna do today here comes the man himself what do you have to say for what you did what'd you do you know what you're doing. getting the rest of the floor up all of our drink really 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 nasty coffee Got all the uh, old floor ripped up here. Got it as clean as I can. Just got some pieces of wood lingering, but it'll be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and frame in this section so that we can have this all completed. We'll have a nice floor to stand on. Be able to tackle that and this. We got some a lot of water damage on the slide down there in that corner is completely rotted. We're gonna have to rebuild the bottom step. It had some good amount of water damage. Brandon just finished filling all the floor up, so now he's going to frame everything in and put the new piece of floor flooring down and possibly ruin everything else. So. I'm just kidding. Here goes the last piece for now. It's gonna have to go down on the left side first. Yeah, cause you're gonna have to put it down. Like it needs to slide under that piece that's holding up the slide. <laughs> So we got the rest of the main floor done. Everything is tight, secure, and strong. Such a strong kid. Next, That's for you, Brittany. Next to tackle is this monstrosity. <laughs> I got the light hooked up in here somewhere. There. Yep, nice and cold in there too. We've pretty much finished the floor for the most part. The only thing left is floor wise is the bathroom and the slide out. The slide out's gonna be a little more difficult than we thought because we're gonna have to rebuild most of the bottom section of the wall. But we'll show you what we're doing now. We're taking down some of these walls, the paneling on the walls, and we're gonna get those all ready to be able to put back new Luan and get everything nice and neat. As you can see, it's nighttime and it's freezing. We're gonna do as much as we can tonight and then hopefully we'll get some more done tomorrow. Brandon's being really rude while I'm talking. We're taking down the inside, the interior walls. That way we can redo them. As you can see, a lot of it has water damage, so we have to take off the old stuff, let as much as we can dry out, and then put some new stuff on top. <laughs> So what's the plan? We're scraping all the old wood off yep. and then keeping the foam on there, right? Because yep, the, foam, the foam, foam is good. To stay there, then we're gonna spray glue to kill off any kind of mold that may be lingering. And then of course dry it out. Dry it out, put a new glue on. As you can see, the lights, all the electrical is working really good. The fridge is working pretty good, which I'm excited about because Brandon wanted to replace it if it didn't run on electricity only because it's gas and electricity. So it's working really good. The freezer's freezing and the fridge is fridging and Brandon's doing this right now because I did all this. All 
right, so as you can see here, we got this top part of the wall done. For the most part, we scraped off everything that we could, so it's smooth. There was a lot of damage back in there. My wife did this wall pretty good. Now you can see the parts that are still there. Those are the dry pieces. This is the part I would hire the neighborhood kid, pay him like 25 bucks and have him do it. We have one of those, but he would have taken one little piece and gave up. Scraped down this wall a little bit. Still gotta do the bottom here. Get this piece off. That part right there, we're not gonna bother with because this can be covered up with cabinets and it's dry, so no need to worry about that. We'll spray it all down with bleach to kill all any kind of mold. That way we're safe in here. Interior walls like that one. Anything interior is good. That might even stay because there's no water damage to that at all. And then this wall. Bedroom walls are perfect except for the front is sagging a little bit. But that's not due to water damage. That's from us pulling it down to do the roof. You got something to say? Wait. What did they do? You did what? Is that blood? Where? Yeah, it's very cold. I feel like a YouTuber. Oh, oh, oh. hit him with the montage. <laughs> <laughs> When you think it's dry, it's not. This entire wall sounded dry. When you knock on it, it wasn't spongy. But it was still wet. This wall's good, except for the bottom. We'll get back out here tomorrow, spray it down, with, finish it up, and spray it down with bleach. We'll start posting Instagram live videos, so go follow. Hold on. There we go. It's like Brandon.turd, but without the D. Just turd.